an offensive lineman or a tight end, big and hairy. But first time, she gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive line. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, I don't need to send the ID. You look trustworthy. All right. Alterer and quick. You're a wanker. What the fuck are the cops doing? Brother. Oh yes, yeah, so I get the cops after me. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. No, I'm taking the RX-7. Oh, that impassion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from well, that was owner fucking Donald awesome. Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a love box of kitten station. Oh shit. Oh, shit. oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, the whole room. Never gets old. I'm oh. Laszlo with open ears. Buddies. The swimming oh, wasn't invented yet. What's your uh. name? I wanted to talk about banking. Oh god, not another one. Oh shit. Oh. Hey man. Give me the door to the What are you doing to my car? Nope. Exactly. My God, I knew you'd understand, Lazlo. Registration my wasn't even. No, I ought to be. He won't hit me so hard, but sweet fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now. I'm the oh, best shit. Oh, guy in the world. I've killed more rats, roaches, and roaches than okay. you can imagine. And Gravity I'm wasn't invented. Such a great country. Wait, I remember I this place I actually in the day. My beat me senseless. <laughs> What are you talking about? Man, I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in thing? Liberty City that can hear my voice, Perfect. please call the show mm -hmm. right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller, you are on the air. Are you sane? Are you sane, sane caller? Well, the bike's Killer bees. Yes, yes, killer bees. Killer bees. Did you know that the security is going on? Did you want to become a bee? <sighs> That's what the mission was. I delayed them, not killed them. 
You know, sometimes the murderous lust, it's just uncontrolled. <laughs> Well, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello. You're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. What the I'm fuck? really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is Mitch. turn them up, put them on an island. I am the president the of the group called Citizen Radio. I need that, though. Exactly. Your organization's called Rock I'll wait to get back. What kind of moron seat. are you? you? You want to round people up for using the phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone. To, to tell the world about it. I mean, Bitch, how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging what against the do do, How many people? That no good. What you do that to me? It's hard I'm on the wrong side of the world. Though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. Oh, what are you speaking yellow, to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. Wait, the you are. You're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Tall, Liberty so City good. was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Wait, this is the third on. What are you? Are you? Are you three years old? Lazo's a liar. Lazo's a liar. What the no heck? Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo. Stick your head in doo doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you me become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue so your boss. <laughs> See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything. What are they like, Jambalini. You don't care. That's good. Telling like a system can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents. And can even train this you to free yourself in front of a bus this and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rick and Roger and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. Oh, to the right, police station. Box. Let's uh, go to the chatter line this here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets too. But it's one headed drop. Me, Pinky, me, Barry, the thumb. Yeah, Straight yeah. puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. Okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? No, no, me, me, I'm sorry, the... Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. Is that what it's supposed to be? There's someone who has, and they paid us. Stacks of Sounds like they're shooting them, so I guess so. In the boring suburbs of a dream of living in a lonely yeah, castle know. on a windswept moor, do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble microwave dinners, all the while wishing you were roasting a supper? Brother, what the heck is going on in City Park? It's the medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens, oh so fair, are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys it's of being vicious. a feudal serf. Forget about the one day, I can't remember if I need something here or if I can just. <laughs> Yeah, I may need some. But my dude also doesn't want to sprint because this dude has the worst stamina out of any video game character that's ever existed. He's been out of stamina the whole time. That's probably all the stamina I can get. He's already tired. So I'm probably going to have to wait again. The only bad thing about this game. And you can't swim. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I'm try it on my car. It is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take. Oh, that, that should work. There should be something up here. Oh, my... What the heck? That was just terrible. 
would have been better if it was a wider sprint. <laughs> Supposed to be a minigun up there. This shit just don't want to work. about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. And all shriveled up by the sound of this. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in a nude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk oh, about just... real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Lazarus. You can be a figurehead for the beast of the interest. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct Almost. advantages, like like not oh, accidentally God. cooking yourself, oh, or, or when you're working on a that. building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a oh, public service announcement from Donald Love. Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. This car will Under my guidance, shit. Love Media has a... Brother, like, why is that so hard? Holy shit. Technology interests. We at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? So I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gum, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. Schools are breeding grounds for crime, ain't they? Well, I guess it seems that way. Well, I've got a real simple solution. Shut down. Shut down the schools and shut down the problem. No more dead teachers. No more angry no, I don't better. Now listen to me. It makes perfect sense. Kids these days, they complain a lot. But you know what? Books, toys, that's tiny furniture, pets, that sort of crap. It's all about me. Me, 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 me. Well, not mine, Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. And free, we taught him how to clean the bathroom. So much as one hair on the sofa was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed hungry, only 20, made it 30. Just learn. Now, every month, bed every day, sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days, his kids are too big to be shitted, so now he's a parable. Oh, fuck. I just took it off again. That is stupid fucking game. Exploitation to me. Exploitation, man, you bleed in heart, kill me. Johnny's mine. He's my kid. How can I exploit something I own? Exploitation. Sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the weight line the toilet paper. And their space station was made out of milk cream. I'll tell you, we're the poor living is the American way. That and the only thing more American is that's supposed to work for you. That sounds a little oppressive. 
spot it. Exactly, but we hit the nail on the head that time. I kid, telling you, shut the school down, make the kids work. That book stuff all for sisters anyway. And, and doctors and politicians, lawyers, and whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney sweep, paralegal photocopier, because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice, so we bought the new Maibatsu Monstrosity. It's so big, we lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, well, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu Monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buy more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new Maibatsu Monstrosity, mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. Exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh man, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I could go on all day, but you have to don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. Uh, what's your name? What do you call about? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I, I'm Maria. You know, Maria, like Mama Mia, only different, you know. But you know, men, M E N. Back to the 
So, uh, what's this rally about, Joe? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those four arms to see. Don't they? Not in my town. Not where the breath in my body and hope in my soul. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? Stop grabbing the town by the balls and saying, listen, son. You have to put up the shut. No more, this is a nice guy. No more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be in America. It's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do. But what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side across the march. Only one thing on them. The only chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much you mean to him more than the chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. They can paint signs and leave them a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents. Dude, even the elderly care about tomorrow. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping America. What kind of patriot are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special, kind of like a romantic group. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do with the game's dog shit? starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you get the idea of martial arts? Corn. What's the story with that anyway? Ladlow, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment through character. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Ladlow. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had to call nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. <laughs> No offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, nasty dude. 
it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, if, if not a basement, I prefer a center for spiritual life. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. Lad low, closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you're like wheatgrass, I think you'll really like it. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, hi -ya! Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time, do not make me angry. It's bad for my karma, and it will definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts like a stand-up bully. Bacon. Can we get some bacon in here? That though, I go back to basics. I start the day with a fruity beverage, and meditation, six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop now and then and drink two pints of hand pressed pickle eating juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, come to movies or no? How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my friend. this early on in the book in chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudices. I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. Just look at things. Take your phone book and have them into your toes. Easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick. to say. 
Yeah. Free cabin. All right, we're talking about... station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. This station, it feels like my second family. Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Well, little man, I, I was listening to that English wimp you were talking to earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how wussy they sound? I mean, they, they have the nerve to call crackers this. And they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. The people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee, Cherokee, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. Yeah, I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, 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 good, wholesome American baggage, man. Like, like stealing... Does it have to do with the car? With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance, guarantees. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going to stay, even before my wife's car accident. Then I call you the games. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara, hotel by the turnpike. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? Oh, sweet. Two Willikers, it's a puppy. Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. Oh, PetsOvernight.com. Deliver oh, little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. Whatsoever. Exactly. I, 
another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the lights are red. You can't just come up behind me, call me, flashing his lights. Mom, then he gets me. over this megaphone and says to the woman in the teal my bot suit on truck, and he sees who's inside. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rig into their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my man to teach my kids some manners. You know, I think... Uh. Uh. Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for Spank. It reaches far beyond the Yardies selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling Spank through the street stalls. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash ah. them to splinters! Ah. I tell you another thing about me. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australian-American War, I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors. They thanks for fighting for our freedom, Shane. After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American War was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American War was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take two more travel with my dad, so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They've wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping in a cave, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. If you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head. Unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Uh, why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm My mom, she don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and woman. She treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that. And you ain't a real man, Tony. And it's driving me freaking nuts. Well, Tony. Tony, how'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're going to get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony. Okay? Uh, okay. My mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man, stand up for yourself, don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son, and I want her to show that she cares for me, show that she loves me. And you know, say I was a good kid, but... Why am I listening to some Italian motherfucker you know bitch about his mom? Well, Tony, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Hogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Hogo. You bound. Help Hogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has banana cannons. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. 
Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since bouncing bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game. Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls. Pogo the Monkey quilt covers and Pogo the Monkey car covers. With the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie sports jacket? With the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products if she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's good eat. No, I really can't say I have. Well, you have tried sometimes. I tell you, man, it's good eat. Possum, raccoon, even zebra meat. It's pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. The shoe is too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thigh size, the tummy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Balky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high-voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband it's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call hey, hey, Dormatron hey. now at 1 800 Sleep Off Lard or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on a highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new My Batsu Monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, what a, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. Chatterbox, what is on your mind? Vertips, fruit, vegetables, albino carrots as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Hugo, got hit by a truck, and he says, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Laszlo. It is very, very serious. I let my kid play video games, and now he runs around the house looking... All because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bang stuff. People say it's bad for you. It's not bad for you at all. Why aren't you talking? Oh, you think I'm strange? Am I on the air? Hello? Answer me, you pansy. What's your question? Bang, 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 bang. 
what about it? I mean, that's not really a question. The questions usually start with words like how and why, and they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You just took all the rest. How's that? Lord, it's evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush it twice a day? I've read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Enters the Devil and the Great Cavity Cover-Up by J. Phil Higginbottom. If you've seen what I've seen, and if you've heard what I've heard, you'd never brush your teeth again. I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Yes, sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue pays my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals? We'll be back after these important messages. Hello? I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zaibatsu Pharmaceutical. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox because of the of sleep, which can be brought to you when there is nothing Equinox that you're operating in a machine where you're driving a car right in a job or you don't have your opportunity to do that to this point. Equinox, softening life's harsh rehab. Tonight. where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich in the heavy blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural selection has come home. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the Chatter Line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made for men. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude, too, if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy swirls at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean, you know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? Oh, I'm so old. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this in the top show. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that here closer? Why so sad, Pee-wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People. Opinions. And stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a people whine about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. You small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safety of my own home and car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't America. You know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? No, taxes. No, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. No! In England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nando. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's just very just rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict, like that. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. You know. Well, well, I'm sure 
But the, but the thing is, lads, though, when 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 I was a naughty boy, I. I, I Listening to that caller about taxes, his views are a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand how the government spends your money? Why are people afraid of numbers? Sine and cosine are two of the most brilliant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating and even sexy. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, wonder if Rasslin's on demand. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Now, thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D vert... You can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, thanks. So, tell me about Fernando's new beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle, a blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage title. For my people, marriage is hard to say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother, it is made in heaven and in the bedroom. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brother. The woman, she must be many, many arts. The skill in making house, cooking, Changing the diapers on the babies. Oh, that was an accident. Oh, shit. A vixen in the belly. Imaginative, exotic, constantly. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French man? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an... talking how to say hypothetically to make me all personal is a bit different if i say imagine if your wife was ugly you can nod your head but if i say hey Lazlo, your wife she looked like yesterday's dinner after i eat you're not so happy it's a bit different my friend anyway the marriage is impossible now. if a man was born an angel maybe impossible but a man is born a man a man with knees he needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed, but for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical, and dreamy, and sweeny. 
so he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer. A dreamer. A man who has knees. But an idiot. Where the fuck did and I, go? I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, do you want to hey, mention hey. where your sister and the office furniture? And the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo. And this is very close. My marriage is a gift. It's a present for me, Bob. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man he sees wife, all fat, all ugly, with the dirty diapers, and the dirty bangs, and the scrawny brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about, well, you're thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act under fantasy for your little secretary with these short skirted eyes and uh, come here, come there, smiling? What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. We call it Fernando's New Beginnings. Because this work. It is a miracle, Laszlo. Um, the winner of bread, six and a half days a week. And the spare half day. Control environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost, to the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know. someone now or just wait for it to turn black and fall off? Give it a quick prod. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Oh, hey, Pave! My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep Asuka company. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. There's a plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Now try the chili oil. Try with that chili oil. But she's like a whole offensive line. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat burger. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife. Burger? He is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. Hey, you know it's bad when someone calls you a burger, bro. God damn. To save a beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. And that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really have Holy shit! Gutter trash you got on the show. Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on. What? Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. 
Angry and a little bit of a know it all, but very pretty. radio station on this or a horn <laughs> oh this mission's fucked Oh my god, 911. Oh shit. Come on. Come on! You son of a bitch! Come on! You dirty oak! Come on! Yes, bitch ass motherfucker, what's up with it? Get in that bitch ass boat. Oh, no, 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 no. You nearly landed on my boat. I mean, I should landed on my boat, but my boat I ate. For now, what the fuck am I doing the front flip? Come on, collect the package. The bagages. Bagage. Fucking hell, this boy ass is hell, man. This boy's ass is dookie. Turn, bitch. Turn, bitch. Bitch. Turn, 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 bitch. Uh, look at that bitch ass security guard over there doing absolutely nothing this whole time. He's just watching through everything. Look at it. Stash the spank in the construction site. Alright. Spank, spunk, it's all the same. Stream my music on Spotify. Boats are really underwhelming. Oh, I got four stars while doing this. Oh, that's gonna make it hard. Shit. Oh, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. How the fuck am I supposed to get up on the goddamn... What the fuck is man? Nope, 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 stop shooting me, stop shooting me, stop shooting me, bitch ass motherfucker. Stop, 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 how am I supposed to get up there? I can't get up there from there. Oh, never mind, I can. I was lying. Straight capping. What the fuck is... What the fuck? Motherfucker try to drop kick me in a cop car. Yes. What the fuck? What the? I'm better grab the fuck. Would you like a gift? Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering man, little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. 
And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Trump. Oh, fucking cut me off. My name is Donald Trump. Oh, my. You're listening. Brother, I'm unarmed. What are you doing? You lost for that. Grove Street, home. At least the walk, well, I fucked everything up. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Lazlo. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration north continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee supper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees really must be stopped. This. I wonder why more people aren't talking uh, about this. I mean, Penel? killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah. But the killer bees are nothing compared to us. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, watch play. Phones. I'm really glad to get to hear about what you're having. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against Phones. Crap. Up for using a phone? This crap. Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's it what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Laszlo's a liar, Laszlo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, stick your head in. Protecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? 